Thank you very much. I'm here with Justice Dora Chepkoni and the Chief Magistrate's Boas visiting Kahawa Law Courts, uh, which is a specialized court for counter-terrorism and other serious crimes. It is a facility that has been supported uh, by our partners, uh, but we have been able uh, to have cases, serious cases of uh, terrorism uh, trying here very efficiently because it is next to uh, the Kahawa Ma the Ka Maximum Prison. The court itself is so well constructed for the security purposes and even the dignity of uh, the persons who come here either as accused persons, they have their own entrance, they have their own cells that are self-contained. Um, the members of public who come here also have their own entrance. The, this area where I am, this is for the judges and the magistrates. And uh, Judge uh, Chepkoni, uh, sitting in Kiambu, is also dealing with the appeals that arise from uh, this court. Uh, the way this modern courtroom has been designed, and it, it's almost completely functional in that sense. Mm -hmm. is Judge Boaz will come in and say, counsel ready, microphones work, mm -hmm. because oftentimes witnesses don't speak very loudly, yeah. and of course you have ambient noise. Yeah. So microphones, speakers up above. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He puts on his screen, the defense, everyone has a screen right here, yeah. where it's connected to their laptop. Yeah. When they want to show a document, mm -hmm. what we see so often, I, I'm sure you see this too, mm -hmm. is Young prosecutor will have a, a safari com record and go like this. Yeah. But the judge up here can't see anything. Yeah. So it doesn't mean anything. Yes. Yeah. So with the Elmo, the Elmo will be right here or just behind the, the chairs. Mm -hmm. They will place the document on. Mm -hmm. The public can see it from that. Yeah. The judge can see That's it from there yes. all the way through. Yeah. And that way you're not going back and forth well, and making yeah, copies yes. and showing like that. Yeah. That's what the Elmo is designed to do. It can show photos. It can show documents, any piece of paper you put on it. It's yeah. like a projection screen at school. We are hoping uh, in the fullness of time to start a serious crimes division uh, to deal with these uh, counter-terrorism cases, uh, especially the appeals, uh, so that they can also be expandited and they can be dealt with with uh, specialization and expertise and security that is uh, needed when dealing with these uh, matters. It is really a, a, a court of excellence, a model court, very well constructed. Uh, the staff are very passionate about the work that they are doing. Their cases move quickly. What I have seen, which is very impressive, is the case management uh, system they are put in place where there is no adjournment, uh, you know, uh, at all, because they are able to uh, work closely with the prosecution, with the police and other stakeholders, uh, the legal counsel. Uh, to manage the cases so that when the case is given a date, the cases proceed. So it's a court which I actually recommend uh, other courts to come and benchmark. Like I hear Chanzu, they have already organized to come here for a benchmarking tour. So congratulations, well done, and keep it up. You can see the place is so clean, uh, the environment is so well set up, with the trees and beautiful flowers that lift the spirits of the people who come here even if you have come here on a serious crime the environment helps you reflect and even think about yourself and your future